Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel if you are new. Hello, my name is V. I post no tutorials every Thursday and Sunday at 8.15 a.m. Central Time. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on your post notifications. I'm so excited to be finally doing a salon tour. If you are an OG on my channel, way back when I started doing videos, you will note that I actually did upload the same thing, except I am updating this video for you guys. I did have a few changes in the salon since then. We did unfortunately have to take that video down due to some copyright stuff from YouTube. So I am ready to share my salon tour with you guys. Just a quick little note, the pedicure area, if you guys do remember, if you watched the old video, it was not the same. The setup was exactly the same. However, we had a huge plumbing issue at the salon. We actually had to chip out the concrete, which included the tile that was there and fix part of the plumbing. So our salon actually had to close down for a day or two while they fixed all of that. And unfortunately we weren't able to find the same flooring to fix that area. So we just went ahead and kind of made it its own little area with some different flooring. So you guys will notice that if you watched the first video. Other than that, everything basically is the same. We did do a little addition to the salon as well, which you guys will see in the video. So I'm so excited to share it with you guys. I hope you guys enjoy it. Now let's get right into it. Okay, so getting right into the tour, we're gonna start off with what you see as soon as you walk into the door and it's gonna be our salon flower wall. We kind of wanted to come up with something that was like really the center of attention and that was basically what we came up with. We did DIY the entire wall from completely scratch. Um, I will link where the products are from, but the flowers are from Amazon and then the border is made out of wood and that was custom made by my husband and then the center rose gold sign is from a company that i found on instagram it's so cute and i feel like i wanted to make that the focal point on the flower wall so we decided to basically frame it in and my husband was the one that kind of created that. So that was pretty exciting to put together. It did take a long time, but I think it was definitely worth it. Now, right over to our immediate left, we do have our pedicure area. We opted for a plumless kind of system just because I felt like in a sanitary way, it's a lot better. And I don't know, I just didn't want to mess with all of the possible things that can go wrong with having jets and all that. So we did order some chairs from Wayfair and then the pillows are from TJ Maxx. I got some cute little flowers just to cover up our vent system. <laughs> and those are prob probably from the Dollar Tree, I wanna say. Those petty bowls are amazing. They do have the option to have them um, heated and with vibration but I really liked just the simple ones. We don't do a lot of pedicures, so that was a good option for us. These are from Belava, and I actually purchased them from a trade show that I went to in Premier Orlando, um, and that was, that was pretty cool. I got a good deal on those. Now our little stools are from Amazon as well. I ordered tons of stuff from Amazon, which was nice and convenient. Now moving up on the wall area, we have all our gel polishes and nail polishes. The racks, I wanted to do them clear just so that it didn't clash at all with any of the decor. And those are from Amazon, very, very inexpensive. And we actually did crack one, so I added those little flowers on the corner just to kind of conceal that. But um, that's basically what we have on that wall. I have accumulated a ton more polishes, so I think we're gonna be adding another one in the near future. And now to our left in the same little corner, we have a petty cart. That petty cart is amazing and I definitely recommend it for you guys that want something nice and compact. We did purchase that from Ikea and I keep all my petty essentials like my petty in a box, 
gloves, petty sandals, and just anything that we might need like toe separators and all that good stuff. And then our fridge is right here. We have our little lounge kind of breakfast nook-ish kind of thing. And then of course we have our Keurig and just some coffee cups underneath that. And I can't remember where we got that little stand. I wanna say it was Amazon as well. I love changing out the coffee cups. It is my favorite thing to kind of add a little bit of holiday spirit into the salon. I always change those out depending on the holidays. So we still have the Valentine ones, which I think are adorable and go really well with the salon. And then our little console table was from Amazon as well. I keep all my extras, like my drinks. I do keep chips in there, extra coffee cups, and some straws. And then up top, the little bunny is for Easter, obviously, because that's coming up. But I recently switched it from the Christmas tree, and I love adding that into the holiday spirit as well. It just keeps some mints in there just in case anybody needs a mint. And then right off, to the left from that, we have, of course, a little garbage can that looks like a coffee cup. <laughs> I had to be extra in that aspect. That one is from TJ Maxx as well. I love finding cute little things there. And then we have our water tower there, some cups. Now right here next to our lounge area, we do have a cute little sign. I purchased that at TJ Maxx and I thought it would be a good little touch to add for our clients if they wanna use our Wi-Fi. It has the password to it, so that is available for them to use and it's right there on the wall so they can see that. Whoa, that got bright. That's better. Off to where the window is at, we do have just extra chairs if clients are waiting, which surprisingly they don't get used a lot, but these are from Ikea and I just got some random little pillows, I think from TJ Maxx as well. On the wall, I have displayed my acrylic collection, which you guys have seen before, and I think in my intro as well at one point. But that's all my colored acrylic collection. My husband was so kind to make all of the shelves for the salon so it all matches very nicely and I definitely love the sleekness of it. And then we just have our Alexa off to the right right there in the corner. She keeps us grooving and dancing throughout the whole day. Here I have my desk. The desks were custom made. We kind of put it all together a uh, different piece by piece. So the bottom area of it, the drawer section is from Ikea. Those are the Alex drawers, which are amazing. And I feel like they're the perfect size for products. The chairs are from Wayfair. The white one, which I sit in is from Amazon. And the countertop, <laughs> I say the countertop, but the tabletop is I wanna say it was quartz, and we got those custom made by a local granite shop. They were thankfully able to cut it out perfect how we wanted it, and they were also able to cut the center for our dust collector, which I absolutely wanted as part of the salon. And then over there in the back, I just have an extra little kind of drawer storage for all of my hoarding ways. That is from Amazon and then I keep all my essential stuff up top so that I can easily sanitize and clean disinfect all my area whenever I am in between clients. And then off to the left, you will see another station. That is my coworker, Missy. That is her little area, it's her little corner. She has shelves of course up top as well. And then the setup is exactly the same as mine, the same table, chairs and light and all that good stuff. And then we have this really pretty frame. That one I felt like was kind of a random addition. After we opened the salon, I saw it, I needed it. So we put it on the wall. I thought it was so pretty and I felt like it went really well with kind of the aesthetic of nail salon, kind of, not really, but I fell in love with it. So I needed it in here. Now off to our left, we start walking into the salon area, I guess we can call it. This is one of our rooms and it is occupied currently by Alexis. I'll leave all my coworkers' Instagrams linked as well so you guys can follow them, but this is her room. Uh, it has the same furniture and all that good stuff. Nothing really on the walls. And then off to our left, we have a tiny little hallway. We have like the, this middle wall 
And then we just have our garbage can off to the left hand side, our fire extinguisher and all that, you know, necessary stuff. So this is a little hallway and we do have more rooms in the back. So we're gonna go ahead and go in there. We have a little mirror right here just to kind of give the illusion that it's slightly bigger, but not really. Right over here, we have our extra salon sink. This one is basically where clients can wash their hands if they need to, if the bathroom is occupied or if they just prefer using this sink. It's so, so cute. I think we got it at a local, where was that? Like dirt cheap, I think. Um, if you guys don't have those stores, you guys are missing out. <laughs> but we just put cute little marble backsplash that I felt like looked so good with the salon. Some little shelves. I keep a sponge up there to wash any wine glasses. So one of the essentials that I keep on the sink are the nail brushes, which I feel like definitely are needed. I just keep them there so if clients need to clean their nails out really well, it helps. And then they just place them into that little strainer and I wash my implements in there along with the nail brushes and then place them back into some clean barbicide. Now underneath the sink, I do keep three baskets. One is missing because I did take the stuff to wash, but I have clean towels and then dirty ones all the way off to the right. Now we're gonna flip the camera around to our backside. Now here in the room, we have Jamie. She is our newest addition to the team and I'm so excited to have her. She has the exact same furniture. She does have some frames up on the wall that she placed of her choice, which are so cute as well. And then moving off to the end of our tiny little hallway, we have our newly added little break room. <laughs> um, my son is definitely taking full advantage of our new couch, but I'm so excited. That couch was from Big Lots. We did add some accent little plants from TJ Maxx. And then we do have a mini fridge as well with a microwave and a table that we also just recently added, which is from Big Lots as well. I love that it's nice and tall and it comes with cute little stools. Now exiting the room, we have the bathroom. And this is basically at the end of the hallway. This is my favorite room. So I actually wanted to make the bathroom completely different vibe from the entire salon. This was the only room that we were able to completely gut. So I wanted to keep it completely white and that's what we went for with silver, like tons of mirrors and just wanted to make it look really pretty. So one of the main kind of uh, prides that I have in our bathroom is I do have this little sign right here that has complimentary Feminine hygiene products. I feel like that's such an important thing to have in a female oriented You know business. It's you just never know when accidents or emergencies are gonna happen So I did go ahead and stock the drawers with tampons We got some pads And then I just keep the extras down at the bottom And then of course we have our sink and then tons of sparkly lights at the top. I wish you guys can see it, but it has diamonds in it, which makes it so, so sparkly. But I definitely love, love, love the bathroom. I don't think I'm gonna get tired of it. But that basically is the whole salon tour. I hope you guys got tons of ideas for what you would like in your own nail room. It's my pride and joy and I'm so excited to be sharing it with you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll see you guys later. A naughty night you lullaby I'm doing me is do or die You must be blinded by the lights We came to shine here Watch it look daytime in the night